Now that is more like it. That is more like it. I'm speaking to you as a city fan right now. You know what I'm saying? You know, my channel, I talk about a lot of other things. It's not a Man City channel per se, but I do come out and talk about my team. And I hate losing. I hate losing. In my life, I hate losing. I do not like, could I, I do not like to lose. And what happened against Tottenham could not happen again against Norwich because we know when Norwich were last in the Premier League, what was that, 1920 season? They spanked us, 3-2. You see what I'm saying? 3-2. And if you guys think that video lives on YouTube somewhere, you could go back and check that out. I'm pretty sure I was pissed off. And Pep Guardiola, you're so frustrated. I know you're the gift that keeps on giving. I know you've won us titles. You, you've won, what, three titles? Three Premier League titles, back-to-back, -back, and then... We won last year and we got to defend the title. Could go back to back again this year. We've won, what, four Carabao Cup titles in a row. We've won the FA Cup. The Champions League final, man. Ah, you keep doing these dumb things, man. These dumb things. You did it in the Champions League final. You did it in the Community Shield. You did it against Tottenham. We lost all three games. We didn't score. I think Pep probably figured it out. He probably sat in his fancy office. And he said, you know what, man? I think I really mucked this thing up, you know? I really messed up. City's still trying to get a, a, a striker, even though Gabriel Jesus is a striker. Still trying to get a striker. You know, Harry Kane, big money. He would, he would break the English record now. We did, a, we did it with Grealish, and we'll do it with Harry Kane. And... Maybe there's some distraction. Uh, maybe the squad isn't full. Maybe the squad wasn't or isn't fully fit. Because that lineup against Tottenham Hotspur, man, I don't know. Against Tottenham, who a quality team? Even though I have my reservations about Tottenham and I think they, they do some silly things and they don't win any trophies or whatnot and whatever. You know what I'm saying? And Paul Torres didn't want to go to Spurs even though they put in a bid and things like that. And they lost their Europa Conference League game against Pacos Ferreira. And they got knocked out by Dinamo after leading the tie. And they got to the Champions League final, just like City and lost. It's a whole lot of ton of things, man. You know what I'm saying? I could talk about with Tottenham Hotspur. And then you go and you play Mendy, Ake. You play the weakest team you could possibly put out. And then when you beat Norwich, you put out a strong team. You see what I'm saying? This is what I don't understand with Pep Guardiola. I don't understand you. You throw the kitchen sink at Norwich. But against Tottenham, opening game where you got to make a statement, you're going light. I don't know if you play freaking mind games with us. I don't know if you play mind games with your opponents. But come on, man. Stop. Stop playing mind games. Stop plucking on my heartstrings like that. But emphatic 5 nil victory. Ain't much to really talk about. You know? <laughs> Seriously. Listen, when it comes to this game, ain't much to really talk about, man. I expected City to dominate. I expected a 3 nil win. We did better and won the game by five goals to nil. That was an amazing performance. This is the city we want to see. It gets a little routine and boring every week if you see that. But still, ah, you want to win. You see what I'm saying? You want to win. Maybe you don't want to win every game closely. Like, oh my God, woo, edge of your seat stuff. But yeah, we, we'll need some of those as well Because you win 5 nil every week, man It gets a little boring, man Seriously, <laughs> it does It does get a little boring Because Norwich They had they were absolutely toothless Going forward Lost 5 goals to nil They have now lost their first two matches Of their new Premier League season 8 goals to nil on aggregate And we've already seen the problem that's going that that's going that Norwich Norwich are going to face this season they're not going to be able to score enough goals i don't know if they have other signings planned but puki is a championship striker at most norwich city are making championship signings i don't care how much a norwich city fans want to be mad at me or if you're sensible and you're watching this and you're a norwich fan you'll be like yo dominic is on to something man because I did talk about this. And look, two games, 8-0. And it does not get easier. Let's just double check and see who Norwich... It doesn't get easier, man. 
Norwich plays Leicester next. Well, they play Bournemouth in the EFL Cup, but Leicester, Arsenal, Watford, Everton. It could get real ugly, real fast this season for Daniel Farker and Norwich, and it has, and, it, and it's already shaping up to, to 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 look like that. It's already shaping up like that. It's already shaping up like that. Norwich simply does not learn. You don't learn from the get go, straight out the gate. City dominated. Tim Krul, the own goal. Big up to my boy Gabriel Jesus. I wrote down that he's the man of the match even before he was given man of the match. Brilliant, man. Brilliant, man. So for that goal, Raji to Jesus and Jesus with the brilliant square, man. I was like, Jesus Christ. Whoa! Put the Norwich City defense in a whole spot about the guys. I look crazy that I lost my voice earlier and it came back. That never happened to me. I don't know why I lost my voice. But I need my voice, man. I need to talk to you guys about these games. You see what I'm saying? So, look, cruel with the own goal. Very cruel. Very, very cruel. But, yeah, you get it? Very, very cruel. But Gabriel Jesus was on fire. Look, there was another goal scored in the 15th minute by Ferran Torres. And that was set up by Jesus again. Exquisite ball. Ferran Torres in, with the near post shot. But... I think there was a foul in the build-up. Bernardo had fouled an Art City player, clipped him, and that goal was chalked off. But City started off like a freaking runaway train, man. 22nd minute goal by Jack Grealish, man. Big up to the boy, Jack. Big up to the boy, Jack. I heard a young man in the crowd screaming, I love you, Jack. Oh, my God, I love you. You see what I'm saying? The kid's already falling in love, man. I'm telling you. And it was a fortuitous goal, but still, nevertheless, he was at the right place at the right time. Gabriel Jesus with the cross again. Listen, that ball by Kyle Walker, this happened twice in the game. This happened twice, and I'll get to the second one. But Kyle Walker to freaking Jesus with that ball, that training ground play. Oh, my God. You ain't got to do him like that, Gabriel. You ain't got to do him like that, Jesus. You ain't got to do him like that. That was nasty. Gabriel Jesus was on absolute fire in this game. And he's just shutting up his critics. Seems like Jesus is a wide man, you know what I'm saying? He's not really providing the goods when he's central. But when he's wide, man, he's a problem. You see what I'm saying? Wide drifting central at times. Gabriel Jesus is a freaking problem, I'm telling you, man. So, look. City dominated on the right-hand side, though. I think they targeted that Norwich left-back, um, Gian, Gian Ulis, I think his name, a Greek man. They targeted him. He was even taken off at after the first half break. Taken off. A youngster by the name of Mumba came on, and I think he fared a little better. But still, City was dominant down the right-hand side, man. The Emmerich Laporte goal in the 64th minute, made, making it 3-0. 3-0. Look. At the halftime break, before we get to that, Norwich, no shots at goal. None. City only had six, one on target. But Norwich, they they, 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 they very toothless in the final third of the field in this game, man. They did not trouble Manchester City at all. And I don't think it was that Norwich were very, very bad on the day. It was that City were extremely good. And they had to bounce back from that Tottenham loss. And I think Norwich just faced the brunt of, uh, of all of that. And... That's what it basically was. So 64th minute, Ilkay Gundogan. Big up to the boy, Ilkay Gundogan, man. Doesn't get enough credit, but the man is a workhorse. And he, he, he was just the man who made things tick in the middle of the field. We didn't have De Bruyne. We didn't have John Stones. Pep made a lot of changes. I forgot to get into that. Five changes made. Some changes had to be made because of the, after that loss against Tottenham. But um, Norwich, Norwich didn't make any changes. Yeah, Norwich didn't make any changes for their game. But um, look, Gundogan, what a freaking ball. Jesus Christ. And I think there was a flick on from a City player's head. And it, it, it just caused us, put Norwich's defense in a spot of bother. And Laporte was first to the ball, put it in the back of the net. And Laporte has been rumored to be um, leaving the club. Bernardo as well, who started this game. So... It would be sad if these guys go because they're such quality players. And I don't know what it is with these guys, man. These guys just, I, I don't think, they, they, they just can't play second fiddle. They are so good that if they have to play like a backup role, they're like, no, 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 no. They go down penning us, you know what I mean? No, no, no. 
You don't love me and I know now. Yeah, we still love you, Laporte. We still love you, Bernardo. Why you got why you wanna leave us? You see what I'm saying? Why you wanna leave us? Bernardo look busy on the day as well. Look, you have Bernardo Grealish, all these guys in the team. We, we unstoppable. You had a strike a, a proper striker, not Fern Torres. Fern was busy and unfortunate not to get his goal, but we need a, a real striker, man. You know what I'm saying? We need not gonna cry out and say we need Harry Kane because it's a lot of money, man. It's a lot of money. But we need a we need a front man. We need a target man. We really need a target man. But that was a good goal. Good goal, a different type of goal from a set piece situation and in the back of the net. Sterling came on. Subs, sub was made, fair and off. Sterling came on. And uh, you know, Sterling had his goal. There was there was also another sub. Gunda one came off because we were we were pretty much win the game already. 3-0. Cole Palmer, young local lad, Cole Palmer, came coming up from the academy. He gets a run out, and it's nice that Pep is involving the youngsters in the in the setup. Palmer is a is a very um quality player, you know. And there's a few more around, man. You know, what I mean, like Tommy Doyle, and there's um Idozi, and then of course we you know there's Liam Dilap. I want to see these guys getting involved more and more and more. Especially when we meet these weaker opp oppositions and we're four 0 up and things like that, send them on, let them let them have a nice time. You see what I'm saying? So Raheem Sterling with that goal, man, that was an exquisite goal, man, exquisite goal. I told you about the Walker to Jesus thing at the Jesus Square. Oh man, Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Whoa! Whoa! It's like we were doing math. The amount of squares, man. The amount of squares we had in this game. Yo, it's like we were doing mathematics. I'm telling you, man. Angles and shit. But look. Jesus. Kyle Walker. Jesus. Brilliant ball. Sterling. Tapping. Tapping. Lovely. And we know Timo Werner missed these goals. You know what I'm saying? So you got to give Sterling the credit. We know Sterling missed these goals. So you got to give him the credit, man. Look. Brilliant, brilliant football by City. I was just in love with the play. This is more like the start. This is more like what, but what we 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 have um, we 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 have grown to expect. Man City just just blowing teams away. This is more like it. This is definitely more like it. So another goal. It's another goal by Riyad Mahrez in the 84th minute. Brilliant, brilliant goal. Ruben Diaz, man, what a pass! Even Ruben Diaz chipping in. I'm pretty sure that was Ruben Diaz with that lofted pass, man. That was awesome, man. That was simply awesome. Let me just go back and double check and make sure I'm right with that. Yep. Ruben Diaz with the lofted assist after the Norwich City defense had been pulled. They, they got pulled towards the ball. Maris made that brilliant run and Ruben Diaz with the freaking dink pass. Jesus Christ. Maris just doing the, the business. And look, you see how Maris came off the bench. Sterling came off the bench. They got their goals. You see what I'm saying? It's no reason for players to get disgruntled because they're not starting. The team is full of stars. That's why we are winning. That's why we got to the Champions League final. Even though we didn't win it, it's whatever. We, you need that squad. And everybody needs to play together as a team. You can't be mad that you're not playing or if you're coming off the bench. Everyone will have their time. Everyone will have a role to play. You see what I mean? I don't get why players getting disgruntled when you play for such a quality team. You see what I mean? Not like if you're not getting game time. Everyone's getting game time. Everyone, and I think that's a headache Pep Guardiola has, and that's why I think he rotates so much. And sometimes he 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 he, he makes some mistakes in the players that he put out on the field. But look, brilliant goal, brilliant display by City. Norwich did have maybe one shot off where Rashid uh, blasted the ball over, but it was just um, you know a, a, a one-sided game. Dominant performance by City. It's good to win again. The last three games we played, we lost them. We didn't score a goal. It's good to make up for that with a with, with a banging victory, bl blasting five past Norwich, and to get the, the 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 morale of the team back up and get the campaign going. Man, three points. Norwich yet to pick up any. And just a lovely feeling. I know the opposition fans don't like when we win, but it is what it is, man. I still have to come out here and talk about this game. Big up to all my City fans watching this, man. Big shout out to a special City fan, Arnav Gupta. Appreciate you. Appreciate the support, man. Appreciate the continued support. 
Big up to Julian, man. Big up to Robert Robinson. Big up to Leng and Sweet. All my city faithfuls watching the video right about now. You guys are the real deal. You see what I'm saying? You guys are indeed the real deal. Big win, easy win. Easy does it, you see? So just for stats in this game, guys, City 16 shots at goal, four on target, 68% of the ball, 718 passes with a 93 pass accuracy. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. 13 fouls committed, one yellow card shown, six corners. I can get deeper into some more stats, but I don't, I, you know, let me leave that for live stream and for deep dives and things, you know what I'm saying? For other type of analysis, you know what I mean? I, I don't want to get into individual player stats or how many touches of the ball this player had. And you, you, you see what I'm saying? This is not a live stream. I'm, I'm just trying to get this, my, my thoughts out. So if there's anybody who criticize the thing, we say, oh, Dominic, only these simplified stats. Yeah, I'm keeping it simple. So Norwich with one shot at goal, none on target, 32% of the ball, 349 passes with an 83 pass pass accuracy, 83% pass accuracy. So you could see they, 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 they tried to play that attractive style of football, but when you're coming up against a team like Manchester City, that's not going to work. You have to set up very defensive. You have to try to just set up with a low block, try to keep Man City out of the, the, the game, try to just keep the ball out your net. And break on the counter. If you don't play like that, it's gonna be very difficult to beat a team like Man City. Just giving you some advice out there. All right, Canaries. All right, but um, you guys were um, properly spanked today. But look, guys, going on way too long. City's next game is against Arsenal. I'm pretty sure we're playing Arsenal. Yep, Arsenal next week, Saturday. First, first freaking game of the day. Saturday early match. 12.30 kickoff UK time, 7.30 my time, New York time, guys. I live in New York, if you don't know. See, I'm wearing an American hat and everything. You know what I'm saying? So just representing. And for Norwich City, man, it doesn't get easier, man. I, I got into that earlier. And they play um, Leicester City and Arsenal in the, in the league. But they do have Bournemouth in the cup. So they could try to pick up a win against Bournemouth, get their morale up and see what they do um, in the next Premier League games. But I personally think if there's one prediction I'm going to make, I haven't made a lot, but I think Norwich are going back down. I think so. In terms of defending the title, I think we can. Are we going to? It's left to be seen. Well, guys, I'm your boy Dominic Rich. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you like it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And until next time, peace out. Rich. Squad. Peace.